For this video, we'll be graphing cosecant. So for cosecant, the first step is to identify amplitude and period. So for this function, a is 2 because 2 is the number in front of cosecant. And my formula for period for cosecant is 2 pi over b. So in this case, we have pi over 2, which is the same thing as 1 half pi. Um, so my b is 1 half. So 2 pi over 1 half is the same thing as 2 pi times 2, which gives me 4 pi. So the next thing we want to do is figure out our scale for the x-axis, which is taking our period and dividing that into four equal parts. We get pi. So that's how we're going to label the x, by multiples of pi. Pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and then 4 pi. Um, the next thing we are going to do is put in our asymptotes. So the asymptotes are going to be on every other interval starting at the y-axis. So starting at the y-axis, we give that an asymptote. We skip pi. 2 pi gets 1. We skip 3 pi, and 4 pi gets an asymptote. And then we're going to use the amplitude to um, label the y-axis. So we have... 1 and 2, and then down negative 1 and negative 2. And the last thing we need to do is put in our critical point. So since A is positive, um, we're going to put our first point going up and our curve goes up. And then for our second one, the point goes down and our curve goes down. So those critical points should match up with the intervals that do not have an asymptote. And your first one goes up to the amplitude, arrows go up, and your second one goes down to the negative amplitude, and your arrows go down. If it was a negative A, um, the pattern would flip. So you would instead have a graph here and here. But ours is not negative, so we do not draw that. 